F is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He created it, he founded it. This is a famous psalm, Psalm 24. A psalm which is not to be read, but a consciousness to attain to, something to be mindful of. See, it's right to the hair on the head, every single cell in the body, every single element, both visible and invisible, all came out of God. It's God's creation. It's the Lord's. It never changes. There is no parcel of land out there in the Middle East that belongs to a tribe, to the Arabs or to the Jews or whatever. All belongs to the Lord. And his glory covers all as the waters covers the sea. But men are not mindful of this because they walk by a mindset that is controlled by the spirit of this age. Man is blinded, so to say. Man has become dull of hearing, so he becomes absent from the reality that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That is why today there is an unction within you that is awakening you to the ever-present reality of the Spirit. The inspiration of the Almighty within you awakens you to the reality that there is one who inhabits all in all. When men come to this awareness, the wars begin to cease, the strivings begin to cease. Vainglory is no more because man now sees and knows that all things are the Lord's. It's the Lord's. Everything is the Lord's. You are the Lord's. All things are the Lord's. He's seen in all things. When you're carnal, you begin to see only that which appears, but you are unable to discern the reality of the spirit, the Lord, the presence that covers all in all. That's why there must be an ascension spiritually to the high, you know, dimensions of God. And this occurs right there in the minds. The minds must be exercised once more to see truth, to hear truth, to perceive truth. And when this is done, the Lord is seen in all things. See, the book of Revelation gives us a peep into the age to come, into this reality, which we call the new heavens and the new earth, God's creation. It says that his servants 
see his face. They see the face of God. These ones who walk before his face and see his face day and night, how do they see his face? They see him in all things. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. This is the shortcut, the way to purify oneself and to rediscovering your part in the glory of God. It is written that nothing that defiles or makes a lie has a part in God's world, in God's creation, in God's kingdom, which is the, the glorious age that is done in today. Anything that makes a lie, anything that defiles or makes a lie, it speaks about the carnal mind. The carnal mind that is unable to discern the truth. It is the carnal mind that defiles, that makes a lie. It denies that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That he inhabits all in all. That his glory is seen in all. That is the thing that defiles and makes a lie. And that, with that mindset, which is a carnal mindset, an earthly mindedness, no man can find himself, you know, within the confines of the New Jerusalem, which we actually call God's kingdom. So there has to be a change in the mindset. It requires patience. It requires wisdom. It requires determination. And he says, ask the Lord, he will show you all things. The spirit of truth will teach you all things. It will illuminate you to see the reality of that one that fills all in all. When the eyes are open, all you can do is contemplate the glory of God and marvel and worship and love and rejoice and glory in that majestic name. Wash your eyes. Open your eyes. See the Lord in His glory. See Him in His creation. Because besides Him, there is none other. God bless you.